Okay, so it's exactly what it looks like. I bought another 3DS. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself right now, what the f- <laughs> So, basically, um, this 3DS, it's not for me. Uh, I bought this for a uh, specific someone for a Christmas gift. Now, this is a Japanese new 3DS XL here. So, this is gonna be, once again, an another like lax and laid back video. Uh, instead of kind of like looking at it and playing some games on it, we're gonna be more uh, kind of just going through the steps on converting this to a US model. We're gonna do a quick look, you know, checking it out obviously, but you know, I'm gonna kind of just talk a bit on how uh, you go about converting a Japanese 3DS to a US 3DS like I did for my launch model one. Only, you know, this isn't a proper tutorial, this is just kind of me following a guide and talking about how I follow it. Now, I paid 160 bucks for this. Uh, it's complete in box with all the manuals and everything that the 3DS XL would have come with back in 2018. So if we open this guy up here, it's also metallic blue, which if you are a sane person, you would agree with me, is a very nice color. So, of course we have the manuals and everything here. The 3DS, this didn't come with a charger, it didn't come with one years ago, which was a pain to explain to my entire family who was saying, why the fuck would you spend $160 on a, on a gift for someone? Because I want to, mom. Um, so yeah, so, you know, the foam, the manual, the AR cards, we're not going to go through all of this. We're going to quickly boot this up. I've already unboxed it and, um, like, set it up, which the setup was painful because... Uh, it was having a fit with my internet connection. But the actual, like, system itself is in mint condition. Like, it's really good, actually, for how little I paid for it. At least in 3DS standards. Um, there's fairly little scratches. Uh, the inside is pretty good. The buttons are fine. You know, uh, the circle pad's good. Everything's good. Now, because this is a new 3DS model, you also have the... Wonderful nipple. Mm. 3D nipple. So it's still in Japanese. So, uh, besides, okay, so it's connected to the internet here. But I need to do a little bit of preparation before uh, working on the homebrew. Which starts with one key thing an SD card. I, th this didn't come with one for some reason. So, I went to the store, I picked this guy up for $6, absolute steal, for 64 gigs. Now oh, it's telling me to install one. Um, you know, it's just a cheap little SD card that'll get exactly what I need out of it, which is just store games, homebrew, screenshots, or whatever else 3DS stores on its SD card. Now, I'm gonna quickly open this guy up and take the bottom off. It's saying off just for the sake of my sanity. So we're gonna also take the stylus out. Take this off. Push the battery. The battery's kind of like started to expand a little bit, which is odd, but I don't have a replacement on hand for now. So we're just kind of gonna go with it. As long as it doesn't explode on me, we shouldn't have any issues. And this is, this, I mean, this potentially could be one of the 2014 models from before it released in North America, which would add more to its age and kind of like explain why it's puffy, but I really do not care right now. Like I care obviously, but you know, not much I can really do knowing I just blew the entire budget for the rest of the year on this. So yeah. We're gonna boot this guy up and get it loaded up into Windows. Or we're gonna boot it up and then once everything's on the SD card and it's formatted properly, I'm gonna plug it into Windows and into my Windows PC and start working on the homebrew itself. Okay, so we are uh, on the desktop now. We're gonna start working on this for Fat32, which I believe. Because I remember I had to do this for my Switch with a 128 gig SD card for it to actually recognize in the system. So that's probably what we have to do here. 
and we're going to be working Okay, yeah. Everything's on the SD card. First, we need to update it to the latest version. 0. Point, or 11.16, yeah, or whatever. Or in this case, J, because we're cool. Okay, system update is complete. Restart. <sighs> Here we go. Banner bomb three time, baby. Remember using the letter bomb on the fucking uh, Wii. Okay. So if we go into system settings, we're gonna check this real quick just to be safe. Eleven point sixteen point zero dash forty nine. Okay. Now we shut the system off and start working on the actual exploit itself. Everything's been prepared. So now the fun part, uh, the, the fun part happens, aka the part where I uh, jump off a bridge due to the pure annoyingness of working on 3DSs. Now we navigate to the 3DS folder. And we're going to open that, copy the name of the folder in there. I'm going to open Notepad. So we don't need to reinsert the SD card. Now the fun part happens where I have to try and navigate the Japanese UI. With, or like the UI in a language I don't speak a single bit of. Whoa. Okay, we got the front code. Uh, what's my favorite software? I don't know what the fuck question mark is, but sure. Now we open Brew Force. Front code 209. The ID is zero. I'm gonna blur, I'm gonna have to blur both of these. Oh. Okay, here we go. Okay. Got the movable.sed uh, from this device or for this 3DS. Now, we're going to use Banner Bomb 40. Build and download. Now luckily I have like everything downloaded and prepared for this, so I should just be able to go into my downloads folder. Open the DSIware exploit zip file here. Copy this bin file over to the SD card. Oh, here we go, okay. So first we need to copy usm.bin to the root of the SD card. <clears throat> From Luma 3DS we need to copy both the .firm and .3dsx files also to the root of the SD card. Then we need to make a... Oh shit. Then we need to make, then we need to make a new folder called uh, boot9strap. I think that's... On the root. Okay, yeah. Then copy .firm and .sha. 
and then we need to install or uh, drag from the installer to also the SD card screen. Okay. Now we need to plug all this shit back into the 3DS. sure I don't snap any plastic here. So I guess now, uh, at least for the time being, we're gonna transition back over, or actually, fuck it. We're gonna get all the CIAs loaded on to the SD card now. Okay. Going to the SDXC here, and we're gonna copy over these two folders. Uh, now in the CIAs, we just have um, both uh, we have all the different CIAs I'll need. So the Humbry Launcher, FBI, Checkpoint, NMME, uh, Universal Updater. Uh, I have Tomodachi Life in there. It's just a game. So yeah. Uh, I'm going to quickly open this. Because I'm pretty sure there is a couple... 3D, yeah, we need to find the FBI 3DSX file in my downloads folder. So, and then also we have GM9, which has everything I need to actually swap the firm or like swap it over to a uh, US system. So, we're gonna go to my downloads real quick. I'm gonna search start off 3DS, uh, 3DSX just because I need to also get FBI. It should be the only 3D I get. To the root of the SD card, I believe. Yes. Let's see what I need to download. We have Godmo 9, we have FBI. But yeah, um, now we just wait on the transfer to complete. Okay. Now that that's done, we can take the SD card slide it back into the system, and continue to follow every single one of these steps. Okay, so we're back. We're at the main desk here, just in case I have to actually, you know, move anything uh, from the SD card to the PC. So now comes the fun part, and we're going to actually start doing things on the console uh, using Banner Bomb and fun little exploits with DSiWare. Oh, Boy, I'm gonna start by going into the system settings app. That's right. Uh, the easy, the current exploit is with a, an app built into the actual OS itself, and Nintendo has no uh, intentions of ever fixing it. So that's fun. So we're gonna start uh, on the bottom screen by loading up. The data management screen, I'm sorry for how terrible my camera quality is, it just does not like um, highlight or low light. We're going to open DSiWare, and we're going to select microSD. Nintendo DSiWare, microSD. Woo! It works! <laughs> I should not be this happy. Okay, now we need to go and install unsafe mode. Press A, and it's going to restart here, which means now we get to boot into safe mode. Or it's going to fully shut. Or B9S, I think. So, to load it into safe mode, we're gonna have to do the beautiful combination of left trigger, or left, right, up, A, power. Which I did with my bottom lip. I have not sanitized this. Like, if I catch chlamydia and fucking die. 
back into safe mode. Okay. I would love to update my... I would just... We're gonna need a little bit of Google translations here. Press OK. Gotta connect there. Go to 1. And now we go up to... Setting change. Proxy. And we gotta go to detailed setup. Oh, advanced setting. There it is. Initializing. There it is. It's going to check everything and make sure that everything passes fine, and after that, Hopefully, hopefully, it all works. Do the funny little button combo up there. We forgot about that. It's gonna save the backup, and it's going to install the save firmware. Reload into this. Start to save. Congratulations. If you followed my steps, somehow gotten into this spot, you've you've homebrewed your 3DS, I think. Alright, we have to uninstall unsafe mode. Which means Congratulations, you haven't ho finished homebrewing your 3DS yet, you dumb fucker. You silly Silly individual, you have to go back, open the DSiWare settings, select micro SD, and then uninstall unsafe mode. God forbid you forget something like that so you can get your Wi Fi back. Everybody needs Wi Fi. We've already gotten all the CIAs and everything. No, we haven't. <laughs> yeah. There's still more files to copy. Yeah. I'm gonna kill myself. Okay, uh, I forgot that FBI goes into the 3DS folder. And not, uh, into the root folder. And we also need to copy God Mode 9 into Luma Payloads. How could I forget such important steps of the 3DS homebrew finalization process? That's silly of me. I could, I could, I would never forget one of the important parts of this. Almost like it's been two months, almost on the dot, since I had to do this last. Anyways, this should be the last time I hopefully will ever have to take this god-awful SD card out of the system besides uh, fugling with some save data later to transfer it from another system that's a US model. Now we open download play. And we do left shoulder, D-pad down, select. Uh, miscellaneous options. Close, download play, launch download play, and we're in the homebrew launcher where we can now open FBI and get into what we actually want, which is going to be um, getting our CIAs installed. I'm not going to do any of that yet. We're going to go straight to 
CTR transfer. We have all of the CTR transfer shit right here already. We have the payload uh, for uh, God Mode 9. And now we get to do even more fun. We get to basically move uh, over to English and American firmware. So let's let the carnage of the Japanese language begin. So to power on the system, we're gonna hold down start. And we're gonna press A, A. It is 2022, 12, uh, 12. And the time should be 16. Set our RTC. And now we get to navigate through God mode, God mode 9. SD card GM9. Uh, CTR and AND options. Uh, transfer. I'm gonna do the funny. Uh, we need to go down, left, down, right, A, and now we're back to this screen. So, we get to wait on that. Okay, it's done. Now we back, back, back. Scripts, GM9, make a script. Ticket copy. And I smell the English language in all of its shittiness. 14 different languages in a trench coat, all in one 3DS. Oh, 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 oh. I did it. Look at the themes. Aren't they so purdy? Okay. Now we get to install a fuck ton of CIA files onto this bad boy. And update it. All right, fun time. It's fun time. Fun, 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 fun. Working on installing like two gigabytes of CIAs. Go to download, play, open. I can read everything again. It's beautiful. I <clears throat> I love the English language. That is a lie. Was it? Spot pass. I don't think that. <laughs> okay, CIAs. Let's get all of these bad boys installed and deleted. Yes. I'm gonna install and delete because I have all of the CIAs I use in my or like on my uh, PC in my documents folder. We need Tomodachi Life. That's like the one game we're using to actually, you know, 
or I'm actually going to be testing on this system. And universal updater. We need universal, uh, the, you know, we need to be able to update the Humber on this system when the time eventually does come. SD, we're gonna go GM9 out. Current directory, install and delete all tickets. Yes. That's probably an issue. Why did it fail? Three of them. Maybe it's only supposed to generate three tickets? Files? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, why does it think it's 928 on a Sunday? So we're gonna try the eShop. Unwrap Kirby's Epic Yarn real quick. We're just going to delete these, though. There we go. So, yeah. Um, there's just, like, the little progression of me uh, getting this 3DS set up as a U.S. system. Uh, with that, um, I don't know. I, I'm going to go, I'm going to go, uh, not pirate games now to put on it. With, yeah. Uh, with that, yeah. Thanks for watching. See y'all in the next one.